today we're finally getting into some of the fun stuff uh getting the cabinet doors back on i'm pumped <laughs> because this is the stuff that you can do quickly and it has like a big return where you can see stuff starting to take shape we're getting the handles on the rest of the doors we're also trying to get the kitchen and bathroom fixtures back where they need to go and probably the most exciting part is i know marissa will be excited about this i think we're going to get to start the floor today I will say as far as build quality I've noticed on the Airstream um, it's 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 good it's good build quality but it's not up to the same standards as a Numar on a lot of stuff big downgrade to me is all the drawers in this they're all based on this I don't know just manual slide system and you kind of it kind of drops down and locks in place so you to, as you pick it up you kind of pick up the drawer and it comes out uh, the Numar, they're all on ball bearings and they're just better as far as the drawers and the quality and just, they slide out so smooth. So we had a pretty good day today as far as getting stuff done. The uh, bedroom's pretty much done as far as the paint. We've still got to take these fixtures off the wall and uh, we've got some paint we're going to use that we can spray paint those brush nickel. Bathroom's getting there. We did get the faucet and soap dispenser installed. Handles and hinges are on all the doors. Paint, it's probably like 95% done. We still need to touch some stuff up, but it's pretty much there. And the benches, I've got paint on them now. This is pretty much, these two are done. This one I'm waiting on the filter to come in and we'll finish installing that. I think I heard the boss. What do you think, boss? Looking good? Looks good. <laughs> then we've got the floor about 80% done, I'd say. Definitely enough of the floor done for us to get a feel for it, and um, we like it. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. I think it's what we were looking for. It looks good. I hope it doesn't show a whole <laughs> lot. It might. At this point, we've got all white cabinets. It's, it's like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks good. I don't know how functional it is. No, we, we really like the look of the floor. We've still got to finish this strip down through here, and we got to finish the bathroom out. But other than that, the floor is really coming together. We still need cushions here. we got to get our table, flip table up here. Still need to work on the accent wall. We have. We've come a long way. That feeling of you're kind of on the, you know, at least <laughs> rounding the curve. I think Marissa felt like we were constantly going uphill for a while. I think it feels good. I think it feels yeah. like us and the feel we wanted to have. Still got several things to go. But you need to get on that. I know. Sorry, <laughs> I've really got to quit <laughs> goofing <laughs> off. <laughs> we've had a lot of people ask if we've been affected by the fires in and around Gatlinburg, Tennessee. A raging wildfire near Gatlinburg, Tennessee is forcing thousands of people from their homes. No one has ever seen anything like this. Ridge tops on each side on fire, chalets, cabins, houses on every side burning. Flames that are going anywhere from 40 to 50 foot high and no way to reach them, no way to access them. Basically, the best way to describe it was it was walking into the gates of Hades. This is crazy. Wow. Hit the gas! Hit the gas! The Smoky Mountain tragedy hits close to home. Gatlinburg is a popular resort destination for many of us on the Gulf Coast. We're an hour and 45 minutes west of there, so it hasn't directly affected us, but indirectly it's still, I mean, we've grown up going there dozens if not hundreds mm -hmm. i mean that's like that's like the close vacation spot for everyone around here and a lot of people all over the country go there as well so it's it's really hard to see the video and the pictures and um just people losing their homes yeah, and even just, their their lives i mean it's it's heartbreaking it, it is. Really is it's really really sad we had actually planned on being there that's the crazy thing yeah mm -hmm. if we hadn't bought this rv we were going to be there we were going to take a small trip in between our longer trips and that was where we we're going to go was pigeon forge and gatlinburg is where we planned on going yeah and uh you know smoky mountain national park and you know we'd been there while this is going on so i guess things worked out but um i really yeah i hate to see 
Hate to see what's happening there. But the good news is a lot of the major things are okay. The bad news is people have lost their lives. People are injured. There's a lot of people that lost their houses. And, you know, sometimes people have insurance that covers that kind of thing. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes people lost everything when there's a fire like this. It's really touched our hearts and we want, you know, we want to give to help with that. We want to give you guys a chance to give. If you want to give to that cause, um, I'll put a link in the description uh, for a place that we trust and that we know will take the money and do a good job with it with helping families um, that have lost a lot of them everything pretty much. It's amazing how people come together in a time like this too. Mm -hmm. I mean, not just people in Tennessee, but throughout the country. It's very heartwarming to see everybody just come together and support people in a time of need. And I love that about our country. I love that we pull together and help people that are hurting and in need. And we appreciate you guys watching and you guys being supportive of us as well. And asking how we're doing and mm -hmm. if we were safe. That's very sweet. And I, I thank you guys for caring about us <laughs> enough to check on us. and. Yeah. Um, and there may be a time, you know, yeah. we may, you know, we were one Airstream purchase away from being in the middle of all that. So, yeah. um, you just, you never know, you never know. But, um, we're definitely thankful for what we have. We're thankful for you guys. And, uh, just thinking about the problems and the things other people are going through sometimes makes our problems seem really small. Um, uh, but we're definitely thankful for what we have. We're going to call it a night and, uh, we will catch you guys later. Is the sunset pretty, Hensley? The sun.